Hello. So let's talk about uh, modulation now. Uh, so we talked about envelope to various things. Um, let's talk about a modulation oscillator. So for all intents and purposes, we can think of this as LFO for right now, because um, you can see with the light flashing that it's going a speed that we can see. Um, you know, we can get it to a speed where the light doesn't flash because it's going, you know, audio rate. And I thought what I would do is rewind 10 years and talk about dubstep, because um, this is like the most obvious use of modulation. Um, so what we would do is, in, you know, the grandmother has like some stuff assigned by default, but we're going to plug this in the way you would a Euro rack. Um, so you would just take your LFO and we would plug it into cutoff in on the filter. Um, so let's start with just the sound we have. All right, so it's just a sawtooth single oscillator. And if we take the modulation oscillator and put it into the cutoff, there's the beginning of dubstep wobble bass. And then the speed. And so that's the beginning. Um, there's some ways you can approach this too. You know, I could put a VCA in between. Um, so in Eurorec, you know, this is a, a tenuverter in the grandmother, but just use a VCA and that lets you say how much of the modulation is going to the cutoff. Um, so that just provides a nice control. You know, obviously a dubstep sound is not that controlled. So we would do that. Uh, then, you know, if we're really making dubstep, what we want is for things to sound nasty. Um, so I would take, you know, in the analog world, you know, digital world, wavetable world, we would just take a particularly nasty waveform. Um, but we could do this with FM. So I take the wave out of my second oscillator and go to the pitch in of the first oscillator. And there we've got dubstep. <laughs> Um, so you have to tune this pretty carefully. I've got the second oscillator sort of like off by a quarter tone, um, and that's what's making it sound so gnarly there. Um, and I did attempt, you know, to put the second oscillator through a VCA and back in, um, but I found that for dubstep purposes, you know, we're going for nasty, so I was just turning the VCA all the way up anyway. Um, but that's in play there too. Um, so that's your basic dubstep wobble. We can also use this in different ways though. I've got different waveforms in my LFO here. We could even go audio rate. And you'll hear it. As your audio rate modulating the filter, you get different stuff out of there. So experiment with speeds of the modulation oscillator and experiment with waveforms. Um, because this creates very different stuff. So, uh, you know, we could do some kind of... Ooh, it gives you nice pulses. Right? Um, we could experiment with a ramp. Um, so a slow ramp is really good with a lot of reverb. It kind of gives you, um, what do I want to say, like a cinematic type of thing happening. And if we tune this way down, you know, there's your ominous fade in. And I've actually done that on film scores. Uh, other things, square wave gives you that choppy pulse. Um, so experiment with waveforms. The other thing you can do is if your modulation, if you have some kind of sample and hold situation, um, either from a random module or a modulation oscillator like this, like an LFO, this is really interesting and useful because you know, the sample and hold is a random voltage, right? So you get all these, like, sort of random pulses happening. Let me turn the octave up a little bit. Uh, 
so you get that kind of talky pulse out of a sample and hold um, or any kind of random voltage. And, you know, depending on what's coming out of here, you might need to use a VCA. Um, so that's the analog version of this. Um, let's take a look at the digital real quick. Okay, so let's talk about dubstep here in Serum, the original uh, nasty sounding synth. Uh, so we have just our basic setup here. It's, it's all going to be the same. Uh, so we have our LFO down here, and we just have to assign it to the filter frequency. So I'm going to turn a filter on. I'm going to choose a better filter, uh, like a little more extreme filter. And we're going to take the LFO and assign it to cutoff, and there's dubstep. And then, you know, there's some changes you can make. It's fun here to kind of play with the shape. There's stuff you can do in a digital synth you just can't do analog. Or you can do it, but it's, you know, noticeably harder and takes a lot more modules. Okay, so that's the basics, and we're going to assign, you know, it's just assigning a modulator to filter. Um, you know, same thing here. You can play with the speed. We can get it going, you know, so fast, so fast that it's like audio rate. Um, what else can we do? Um, in Serum, you know, because we have all these different possibilities of waveforms, you can actually go out and buy some, you know, and get... You know, you know. So there's your basis for real dubstep: is these gnarly sounding wavetables, and then you would assign to the wavetable position and just kind of like find the magic here, um, right? Um, then you know, we put a lower bass down here, something like this. Let's go. Uh, we'll go an octave below. Yeah. And then there'd be some level balancing to do. But the takeaway from here is what I want you to think about is, you know, what can we do with a modulation oscillator assigned to the filter? Because uh, that's what we're going after here. Um, and you can just make more and more complex LFOs if you're working in digital. Um, it doesn't have to be dubstep. It can just be like, you know, fun. Um, and you can go out and buy all these different shapes. Or you can make your own. Um, and let me know if you want me to do a sort of in-depth tutorial about how to do these kinds of shapes. Um, but that's it. And hope you enjoyed it, and we'll talk on the next one.